Today I'm going to demonstrate one of my finer detailing techniques, specifically on this heart that I've carved into the handle of this wooden spork for a salad set. Now I carved the basic shape of the heart using some rounded gouges whose arc and curve fit the shape of the heart that I needed to make. But right here in the top center of the heart, I really didn't have any tools that fit well in that area. So I'm using my carving knife, and it's very sharp, and I'm using it more like a scraper than a knife. You can see I'm putting it in place and then scraping it away to remove just the tiniest shavings or chips of wood so that I can smooth out the area as I fine-tune the shape. Because it's going to be just as hard to get into that tiny space with any kind of sandpaper. And with a good blade, used like a scraper, you can achieve a finish that is as smooth as any sandpaper. Notice this flat area above the heart on the handle. Notice how smooth it remains as I scrape and remove material from the surface. And that's important because I've already shaped this handle and it has a nice gradual arc all the way from the bowl of the spoon to the very end of the handle. And I don't want to change that. I just want to blend into it seamlessly. And as is the case with any fine detailing work, patience is very important. Move slowly, but it will save you time in the long run relative to making a mistake that you have to work around and recover from. And I'm pretty satisfied with what I achieved so far, and I believe I can smooth out the rest of the detail with some 220 grit abrasive. I folded it to a sharp corner that will fit into the space, and it won't take a lot of work or even a lot of pressure to smooth out the tiny imperfections that remain. And you can see as I make progress here that it doesn't take a lot of work. And very fine movements with the abrasive achieve the results we're looking for. I'm going to move on to 320, 400, and eventually 600 grit abrasive. So the surface of this mahogany will have a very smooth and refined finish. And that's the beauty of this wood, with its tight grain. It's great for tiny details. And it allows you to get a very refined and very smooth finish. Just look at this. This spork is ready to be oiled. And again, that's the fun part, where we apply mineral oil and watch the grain come out. And I'm generous with my application of the oil, especially in this first coat. I'll work it around to saturate the wood thoroughly and to get into all the tiny nooks and crannies. And as the oil fills the pores on the surface of the wood, it shows you exactly how smooth you've refined your surface when you went all the way down to the 600 grit abrasive. Look at that, it's like glass. It feels silky smooth in your hand and it's just a beautiful thing to behold. You know, every time I carve a spoon I learn something and I hope you have too. Thank you for watching.